Hey guys, it's Kryptonite, and today I thought we'd do uh, my player build. I've been getting a bunch of questions, um, whether it be personal messages or comments or tweets. Uh, you guys have been going nuts asking me for my player build, so I thought I'd finally get to do it. I haven't been, I haven't had a lot of time to make videos lately, so I had time today, so I thought I'd finally do my player build. Uh, let's get right into it. EA Sports Hockey League. Come on, loading screen. Yeah, honestly, my player build, it's its really nothing that special, uh, but that's just my opinion. I'm sure you guys, I mean, obviously, you guys want to know what it is, so I have no problem giving it to you guys. No problem at all. All right, my pro, we're not going to go to hockey shop since you can pretty much uh, see what uh, boosts I put on when I go to edit attributes, so let's just go to edit pro really quick for a second. Uh, I'm assuming you guys, you guys all want to know my right wing player build, so here we go. Um, yeah, really nothing special. Uh, nothing too cryptacular. Uh, I guess it is cryptacular, <laughs> I should say. Okay, here we go. So, sticks, skates, whatever, you don't need to do that. Oh, I guess, um, yeah, for my skates, I do use a 13-inch radius. Um, I don't know, it may, uh, it, it, it's obviously just for that breakaway speed, that speed up the board, stuff like that. Um, yeah, I, I, I used to use 9-inch radiuses in, I think it was NHL 12 and before that, but yeah, for this game, I just stuck with NHL 13 with a new skating engine. I stuck with 13 inch radius and uh, seems to be working fine for me. So, uh, stick, I'm pretty sure that there's no other choice other than the 90 regular flex. I mean, you can just tell by the bars and, yeah, this. I mean, obviously, just go for the one that's more balanced. That's what I use. Uh, helmet doesn't matter, and I'm pretty sure gloves don't matter either. Anyways, so yeah. Um, for my height and weight, honestly, a, a lot of guys like to use like smaller like I don't know 5'10, 5'9, 5'8 player builds I don't know I, I like 6'1 a lot I mean it, le it lets me throw some hits and it doesn't let me get bumped around too much and I still I still go pretty fast when I you know when I want to be so honestly this might not and probably won't be the best uh, player build out there but this is just what I use yeah so for height I'm 6 foot 1 uh, weight I put at 200 pounds and yes I am a grinder so um, yeah, so that's that. That's pretty much all you need to see here. Uh, let's discard those changes in case I, in case I did something. Um, and let's go right into the edit attributes screen. All right, so center, left wing. Yeah, no one need to see that. I usually just mess around with those and try out different builds just to see, um, you know, what I can make, so to speak. All right, but here we go. So this is my offense for my grinder. All right, and there we go. So pretty much I maxed out everything I could. And then I made my shot pretty decent. I'm, I know you can probably get better shots out there, but um, this is what I use. So, deking, I went up to 80, but yes, as you can see, I put a plus 5 deking, plus 5 offense awareness, but I'll get back to that in a sec. Uh, plus 5 passing, and plus 8 puck control, along with plus 5 uh, for both my wrist shots. So, um, offensive awareness, I mean, I don't know, does it really work? Obviously, no one really knows. I mean, you can test it out all you want, but you'll never really know. Um, if it does anything for um, for a human control guy, I'm, I'm sure it does something in like BGM mode stuff like that for for players around the net stuff like that. But um, you know what? I, I I didn't really feel comfortable leaving it at a 76, so I just put a plus plus five bonus on there. And you know what? My, yeah, I don't know. My, I guess my guy feels better with it on than it off, so that's why I use it. Yeah, deking uh, 85 and puck control 86. Obviously. If you want it to be a playmaker, you can get these up easily in the 90s, something like that. But, you know what, this works for me. You don't really need to deke out. I mean, deking and hand-eye, like, if you're playing against computers, all this stuff would really matter a lot. But passing, I guess, is the one thing I'd want higher, but... <laughs> as long as you're accurate with the stick, I don't really think your passing probably does increase your passing ability. But, honestly, with 81 passing, I've been doing fine passing the puck. And then slap shot, yeah, I wanted to make sure that it was at least 70. Uh, so I can get them on that with some force if I ever take them. And the wrist shot, 80, 80, that's pretty pretty normal for me. Uh, pretty much all my builds are going to be that. Alright, let's go over, over the defense. Uh, aggressiveness, yeah, pretty much maxed out these three. No boosts on this slot, so pretty much stick checking, maxed out to 85. Defensive awareness, maxed out to 85. Body checking, maxed out to 87. And aggressiveness, uh, to 82. <laughs> I do like to throw the body a lot. I love to hit in uh, ESHL. It just honestly, when I play the game, I play the game to have fun and just running around hitting people is just fun for me. So, 
and of course scoring goals is too but you know you can always throw hits but you can you can't always score so every game I can go into men with the mentality that all right I'm gonna hit the body or lay the body I should say grab a couple of hits and it'll be a lot more fun fun that way uh, discipline I, I can only get up to 78 um, you know what like penalties like if you take penalties you take penalties I don't really think discipline's gonna really affect it and then stick checking of course went up to 85 that's the highest it can go and I didn't have enough space for any boost or anything like that all right so moving on to athleticism here we go there it is again nothing really too special but this is what I use so acceleration I got a plus eight on that plus five on agility and then a plus eight on speed uh, so that make bringing my totals to 91 for acceleration 85 agility and 92 speed that's what makes me so fast or you know quote unquote so fast I'm sure you can get much faster in this game but that's just the way I play I feel it's a good good enough speed that I can get to and I can get to it pretty fast with the acceleration so that's what I use if there's anything that I could wish I could change about this build it is my balance and strength they're only at 72 and 73 uh, endurance I don't worry too much about because I don't really hustle that much unless I really know I can beat the defender or I have a breakaway something like that so uh, I really keep off the endurance unless I you know it's a for sure thing that I can win the race something like that so that's why endurance uh, it doesn't really bother me having it only at 80 which is still pretty high but yeah strength is only 73 and balance is only 72 and you know with the grinder build they're so easy to put up like it only costs 30 points to put up for each of them right now so it's tough but I, I really like I really do think the extra two speed uh, helps because usually with a playmaker you top out at around 90 I think I think right at 90 and same for acceleration um, but I think it, for the grinder I think those extra two points and extra one point for acceleration really helps um, just give you that sudden burst of speed where, where no one really expects it unless you're facing a really good team uh, who's who obviously uh, expects it so yeah guys that was pretty much my player build um, again nothing too special pretty much just maxing out everything I can and then putting the rest into you know discipline for example or balance and strength and obviously speed can go way higher I think you can go up to 95 or 96 but honestly it doesn't just doesn't appeal to me uh, agility um, with the 13 inch blades I guess agility is much more important than it would be if you had like say the 11 inch or 9 inch so if you had those kinds of skates um, I wouldn't recommend putting in too much into agility but you know with the 13 inch skates it is harder to turn so all help you can get really does help and you know what yeah so that's my player build it's only 770 or 77 overall but again that doesn't matter at all I wish I could have my slap shot higher so I can put off one of those one timers but It'll have to do. Uh, offensive, yeah, so obviously this build isn't really strong in any one category. Um, I guess you can say defense it is, what, or especially body checking it is, and defensive awareness and stick checking. But you know, it's not. It's really not that strong at all in the offensive, in the offensive category. I mean, highest thing I have up there is 86 overall for, for puck control, which is very important. Um, honestly, I wish they didn't put in these um, cap hits. Like, I wish you can go as high as you want, as long as you spent the points, but um, I guess, you know, they had to change something up in their game, so yeah, they decided to do that. I mean, my defense build, I use a two-way goalie, I don't even play. Um, for center, I use grinder. I know you guys probably haven't seen me use um, play center on the club, or maybe you have, like, really, a really long time ago on Johnny's channel, but yeah, I don't usually play center, but it, it is also a grinder build. Um, yeah, again, nothing special. Um... Sometimes when I do play right wing, though, I, I go to power forward, and this is what I most likely use. Um, but again, nothing special, nothing special. Yeah, so from our, from our right wing, I mean, honestly, guys, try it out for yourself. See if it really makes a difference. Um, the height and weight might make a difference. But yeah, this is what I use. This is how I score goals on our club, 2BC Productions. I do have a lot of them, so obviously something's working out. And you know what? Let's take a sneak peek into our, our club stats here. Uh, where is it? Club info. Club roster. Let's take a sneak peek. There you go. That's our team. What a great bunch of guys we got here on the superb men. Ray Stanley, get back already. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Um, that was my player build, guys. Uh, it seems to be working. I get a lot of points. But, um, obviously, that's uh, just the 
result of great teamwork and great team play, uh, we do like to play a team game. And I just noticed that um, I think we're 95th overall now. I, I honestly didn't know we were that high up. I'm um, considering we don't really play a lot of games. That's pretty good, I, I guess. 95 all-time rank, yeah. Pretty good. I wish we played more games. I mean, we got to start getting getting going here. We didn't we didn't make the playoffs, uh, as you guys probably know, because uh, we just I think we only played like 20 or 25 games. We went like I don't know, something like 20 and five, something like that. Yeah, it was only good enough for pro, I guess. So we definitely got to start playing more games. That was my player build. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me some comments um, as to what player builds you guys like to use for right wing or for anything really. And what did you think of mine? Did you... I mean, I'm sure a lot of you guys use Grinder already. Um, but do you think there's any way I can prove this? Um, if there is, I'm probably not going to. Just because uh, I've been having a lot of fun lately playing the NHL 13 with this build. So, probably not going to change it anytime soon. I know it could probably get better, but honestly, I play the game for fun. So, that's why I use this build. Hopefully, I, you guys use it and probably have some fun. You know, throw some hits. Uh, beat defenders to the outside. Cut to the middle. Score some goals. And and honestly, just have a good time playing ESHL. Find the club of four or five guys you play with. You can play with, you know, whenever you guys have some time. And honestly, playing six on six is probably the best. It's probably the best thing you can do in this game. And yeah, it's a pretty good build for six on six. Um, in my opinion, anyways. <laughs> All right, so there's been a lot of questions. I know you guys really want to see this for a while. Uh, sorry if it didn't live up to the player build uh, that you were expecting. If it wasn't this great big thing. That would make you better, but, um, you know, that was it. Hopefully it does make you better. Uh, it'd be great if people got better at this game. So, yeah, try it out uh, for at least a couple games. Let me know what you thought. Take it easy, and peace!